Firefox. So I did a slight mistake yesterday by deleting most of the footage I shot about uh, our queens trees and harvest and processing. So now I have to try and remedy that. A few weeks ago I harvested our first queens tree and uh, I shot a short video explaining some specifics about the fruit and the trees and the growing. And then I mistakenly deleted that footage after shooting another video of harvesting the second queen's tree, which is a later variety, so it needs a couple more weeks. So this is our first queen's tree. You can see it's not uh, very tall, it's still young. This is the size of the stem. It's maybe six years old. The queens is a, a slow growing tree. It's not very vigorous, but it has a nice longevity. So this tree, because it's more, I have thinned the fruit after the initial fruit set. So I had about uh, maybe 20 or less fruit left on it and this is the earlier variety and one morning when I came to walk in the orchard I saw that uh, some of the fruit already fa have fallen to the ground here so I did my shake test which is just uh, grabbing the tree and uh, shaking it to see if more fruit fall down and if that happens, it means that the fruit are ready to harvest. And that was part of the video which is now missing. So I uh, took a couple of the fruit from the basement to try and recreate what I showed in the previous video. This is the spot where the fruit is connected to the branch, usually with a very short stem. And uh, when the fruit is properly ripe, the tissue that connects the fruit to the stem, it starts to uh, deteriorate. So it's very easy to pick the fruit and also it falls down in a, like a windstorm or something on its own. Also, the queens are rather heavy fruit, they're dense. So they end up uh, falling from the tree easily. You can see here how this uh, little depression, this little pit in the middle is already brown, which means that this fruit was ripe and it was ready for picking or it fall down from, from the tree. And if you try to pick the fruit from the tree and it snaps with a little bit uh, of the stem, it means that it's a bit early to harvest. You can see here those are the parts of the branches where the fruit were sitting. They're also brown. So it was a good time to pick the queens. And uh, this tree is a bit larger. You can see it's uh, maybe 50% uh, bigger diameter and more developed crown. The main reason for that is that it uh, has more sun from the south and from the north as well while the other one you can see that from the top is almost completely sheltered by this uh, large mulberry which has now dropped its leaf, leaves and from the south we have this dense apple so it has less sun and uh, since the queens make, make their fruit usually at the end of branches, at the tips, this puts heavy pressure on the branches themselves and they start bending down with the heavy fruit. So especially for those young trees, it really pays to thin the fruit and have uh, 
one or two fruit on each branch for example here you can see that i've had one two three fruits on this branch and this branch was bending down like this before i harvested and uh, i shown that in the previous video but yeah i'll be try i try to be more careful in the future with my footage i will now uh, plug the remaining two short clips you can see how i do my shake test on this uh, more developed tree so the first part of this video was about uh, harvesting this little queen's tree and i shot that maybe two weeks ago and since then we've had very lovely bright sunny days unseasonably warm even and then i uh, tried my shake test on this here queen's tree which has more fruit on it and just a couple of the fruit fell down which indicated that they were not fully ripened yet at this point so i decided to wait a few more weeks and see what happens now i found a couple more fruit on the ground today like this one which uh, here you can see that it's a uh, fully properly uh, ripened looking at the stem end here and it smells amazing so now i'll be trying another shake test just to see if we can uh, get some of them down and if most or at least half of the fruit fall down then that would indicate to me that it's proper time to harvest them as well i'm putting the gimbal down which I use as a tripod because I don't have another tripod let's see what's happening <laughs> easily have the fruit fell down so now I have to go get a bucket and gather the rest of it from the tree because I don't want uh, the mold to fall down beautiful queens fruit and uh, falling off the branches very very easily amazing color the aroma is typical flowery fruity very sweet even though the fruit itself is not really sweet it's uh, more sour and a bit astringent but it's still an amazing uh, fruit to have so you can see that my uh, 10 liter bucket was nearly not enough for all the queens that came out of the tree uh, easily more than 10 kilos I uh, have to do two trips to the basement to store them but uh, I decided to take a jar of my favorite queen's jam and uh, show you how it looks this is uh, a jam which is made out of grated um, fruit grated queen's fruit with some sugar and a special flavoring herb I'll probably do a separate video about how we make the jam it's very quick and easy and the result is uh, great tasting and uh, has amazing flavor as well so that's about it for today i plan to do a separate video of how we make the queen's jam and i'll see you in the next one